Okay, we've got a Grover's Best Mulberry here. It's been in the ground about a year, and we've got an air layer on that. Let's get a closer look. So once I saw roots start to form on the clear side, I went ahead and put a piece of aluminum foil just to protect those roots. I'm not sure it's necessary, but I think it might help. So um, today we've already taken that off, and now we're going to get those twist ties off. One thing I noticed when I took off those twist ties is this Grover's Best was growing so quickly that it started to cut into the branch or the trunk here, which is why we don't normally ever use anything with metal in it. It'll pull right through and girdle the, the branch or the trunk in this case. So something to keep in mind, they grow so quickly that you want to keep an eye on that. I should have come out and loosened that a couple weeks ago. Okay, I'm going to cut just below the air layering ball. I'm going to support the top and there we go. Our air layer is free. Okay, so here's our Grover's Best air layer. You can get a look at the roots. Nice looking roots. And I'm going to trim off some of these leaves and we'll get it potted up. Okay, I'll get a couple leaves off now. We'll cut more off in just a moment. But you want to have a balance between how many roots you have and how many leaves you have transpiring water. So I might cut this off here. here. Okay, clear side is off. Here's what we have. All right, let's get this in the pot. See, I've got some soil already in there, some pro mix. Um, that's probably, let's go a little bit lower. So we have a little bit more support of the soil on top. All right, so there you have it. In a little bit over a month, about five weeks, we have a brand new Grover's Best Mulberry tree. It's a clone of the original Grover's Best Mulberry we already had.